All right, guys. So uh, I'm heading now to Birmingham uh, Library. Let's uh, let's see what uh, comes up. <laughs> I'm closer and closer now to the Birmingham uh, Library, so uh Huge building we have here. So I'm now in uh, Chamberlain uh, Square, and what we have in front is uh, Birmingham's Museum and uh, Art uh, Gallery. A huge uh, building right next to Victoria's uh, Square. So as usual, uh, we have a map here. It's uh, obvious uh, where we are. Right guys, so uh, this museum has a collection of uh, international uh, importance covering uh, fine art, ceramics, uh, metalwork, uh, jewelry, natural history, archaeology, ethnography, local history and industrial uh, history. Right, so far uh, looks uh, interesting. Just forgot to mention uh, this museum uh, was founded in uh, eighteen eighty five. Right, so uh, I'm still on uh, Chamberlain's uh, Square. You can see the library from uh, from here. So let's uh, let's have a closer look. The Ten Level Library shares a spacious entrance and foyer, as well as a flexible studio theater seating 300 people, with the Birmingham Repertory Theatre. Right, so uh, we are now in uh, the Centenary Square and what we have uh, in front is Birmingham uh, Library. Right, so uh, on my right hand side uh, we have the Bakersville uh, House, for a former uh, civic uh, building, now uh, an office uh, one. So in the same uh, square we have uh, an ice uh, skate uh, park, this can be seen. Honestly, this uh, area doesn't look uh, so chaotic uh, like uh, uh, New Street and uh, Victoria Square. Awesome uh, library they uh, we have here. The library uses an aquifer ground source system to reduce energy consumption. Cold groundwater is pumped up from within the earth and used in the air conditioning system. As can be seen, uh, we have uh, also an uh, amusement uh, park here. The water flows back into the ground by another drilled well. The use of groundwater as a source of renewable energy lowers the library's carbon dioxide emissions. So from here we have a much more detailed uh, view over the library. So this is actually uh, the largest uh, public uh, library from uh, UK, uh, the largest public uh, cultural uh, space uh, in uh, Europe and the largest uh, 
regional library uh, also from uh, from uh, Europe. So the estimated cost uh, of uh, this building uh, is around uh, 190 million pounds. That was expensive. <laughs> Say uh, the prices are uh, quite uh, acceptable. Really nice amusement uh, park uh, they uh, have here. So it looks uh, way more different than uh, the one from uh, New Street and uh, Victoria's uh, Square. This library looks uh, indeed uh, amazing. So unfortunately, today is uh, Sunday and uh, it's closed. This uh, area doesn't look to be crowded uh, at all, which is good. So we have a map uh, also here, so uh, obviously we are here. Indeed, uh, this amusement uh, park is uh, awesome. Just forgot to mention that uh, the library construction uh, started on 7th of January 2010 and uh, uh, was completed uh, on April 2013. That was fast. So behind uh, this library is uh, the city center gardens. So uh, let's have a look uh, also there. Sadly, the weather is not uh, with us uh, today. It's uh, quite uh, cloudy, as can be seen. All right, so uh, these are the city center gardens. Quite a nice park they uh, they have here. So let's uh, let's uh, have a closer look. An oasis of home is the perfect way to describe city center gardens. Its position is in the middle of Birmingham, just a stone's throw from the Birmingham Repertory Theatre. So we have some messages here at uh, the entrance. I mean, the view from here over, over the library is uh, awesome. I do like this uh, garden. The city centre gardens was opened in 1993 and went on to win first prize from the local government news. 
The project was called Urban Green Space Awards for Street Design. This, uh, this looks uh, very well uh, maintained. Well, guys, so uh, so far we have seen only interesting uh, things from uh, from uh, Birmingham. So these two attraction uh, points uh, will be added to, let's say, top five uh, places uh, to be visited from uh, from Birmingham. It was a nice uh, walk. Indeed, uh, so we have seen a nice amusement uh, park from uh, the Centenary Square and this uh, lovely garden from, uh, from, from behind of it. It was nice. Right, so uh, if you want to avoid uh, the crowdy places, especially on Christmas time, don't uh, hesitate to visit these two attraction uh, points. Uh, and that's it, simple as it is. Right, guys so uh, I hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, what you have seen so far if yes uh, drop a comment uh, give the video a like and why not also subscribe <laughs>